Good morning. Yeah, two minutes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I would like to share with you information about the energetic modernization of the German wintering base Neumeyer, which you see on that slide here. And uh, um, <clears throat> at the start, uh, just a reminder, a short look into the past. We do winterings uh, on the extreme ice shelf in Drawing Mordland since 1981, and on the right-hand side, uh, you can see a sketch of the first two bases built as tubes in the ice. The available space was enlarged by making the tubes longer from 45 meters to 85 meters about. In uh, 2009, we commissioned Neumeyer III on top of the ice, as depicted here, and compared to the former base, Neumeyer II, the air-conditioned room space was more than doubled. We already then uh, wanted to use fuel uh, efficiently by means of a block heat and power plant combined with heat recovery of the exhaust gas. Uh, the total amount of fuel burned still went up. It was increased by 50%. However, so the air-conditioned space was more than doubled, the specific fuel consumptions of liters per cubic meter and year <clears throat> was reduced to a fifth. You can see that here. So the fuel went up. Nevertheless, if you look at the heated room uh, as volume, then it, the efficiency was much higher. Now, what is the situation today? Oops, excuse me. Uh, <clears throat> the station is uh, standing in the weather now for many years, and if it would be a vessel, we would have had at least uh, shipyard times uh, since the beginning of uh, uh, that base. And so there is a, a high need to repair and modernize. And what are the goals of the modernization? We wanted to reduce the CO2 footprint and... Uh, <clears throat> we also uh, wanted, of course, not to com make any com compromises uh, on, the, on the safety of the wintering teams and, and the other teams being at Neumeyer. Um, so, sorry. Um, we did that in a uh, some step approach. Uh, the workflow is we first uh, ran a feasibility study by doing uh, modeling, then we decided uh, what to do, then we had a design and test phase, and then we uh, at want to achieve a step-by-step -step implementation. Um, you see here uh, the, a graphic of the, of the model of the Neumeyer station, and uh, um, <coughs> the input data were annual records of temperature and wind speeds, just as in the talk before. And uh, we did these uh, simulations where we, uh, and, and then here you can see the energy flow chart of Neumeyer, so all the fuel that is burned is then transferred into uh, heat and electricity and all the consumers were, were modeled uh, with the uh, uh, <clears throat> wind and temperature field uh, that was uh, input. And then this uh, dynamic simulation where we could do an, a, a detailed analysis on uh, <clears throat> what, what consumers can we take out and how far can we do uh, with wind and how far can we go with uh, maybe photovoltaics. So we also simulated the thermal capacity of ice in order to uh, find out whether we could use heat pumps and we also, of course, dimensioned then the components. Um, so the decision was then that we would replace our heat power units uh, <clears throat> and then we would uh, aim for five windmills. Uh, we wanted, we want to, and we did, 
install uh, photovoltaic systems. Uh, we want to install batteries, uh, as mentioned already in the previous talk. Uh, we will not install heat pumps, and uh, <clears throat> we will not make uh, fresh water from seawater uh, from the water below the ice shelf. It's uh, too complicated and too costly at the end. Uh, here a sketch of uh, the wind turbines. Uh, they are vertical axis wind turbines. And uh, what you can uh, clearly see is uh, that we uh, need to elevate these wind turbines every second year because of the snow that uh, comes, uh, uh, it's the, the snow surface uh, grows up about 1.5 meters every year, so we need to check up these windmills. Um, and, uh, and then you also see the, uh, mount, the, the, the mountaining of the photovoltaics uh, on, uh, <clears throat> on the frontage of the uh, building. Uh, and also, as in the previous talk, we did some tests of the modules and whether we would fix them or not and how to fix them and put them close to the frontage or not. And we also did test simulations uh, in cold storage and uh, also in, did some tests uh, on the ice. Um, and uh, this is the situation at the moment. So the first turbine was built up uh, and uh, also very similar to Dome C. Uh, the actual status is that we use about 700 liters fuel a day, which amounts to 881,000 kilowatt a year, very similar. Uh, we do get a little bit from our old windmill and the planned status is uh, that we reduce the fuel consumption by up to 50% as soon as we have installed all five windmills. The challenges had been to find a compatible uh, vertical axis wind turbine. We had to buy a new crawler crane. Uh, the steel prices went through the sky uh, during pandemic and uh, well, we will have some workload for the elevation. Thank you. <clears throat>